It's time to go thrifting. Martin Man. Martin Man. Treasures. Somebody donated their collection. Dickie's hat. Somebody went on a color run. That's a good fishing brand. Uh, pretty basic shirt. Columbia, it's a 3X, which is good. Columbia PFG tends to move slow for me though. But at 3X, maybe. Okay guys, so the condition of this one, I, it's not great, so I'm gonna leave it. See, it's it got some poles here. It's coming apart a little bit at the collar. It's not good. But keep an eye out for this style, this old army. It'll cinch real small at the waist. You'll find them in black also. These sell very well. Here's another to watch out for, but another that unfortunately I have to leave. FUBU, this is an XL, great size. But keep an eye out for these FUBU All-Stars jerseys. They actually sell pretty well. And some of them for high dollar, but see there's a little hole there on the back. Pretty significant hole down there. So we're gonna leave it, but keep an eye out. Here's one, no idea what comps are on this thing, but this is cool. It's on an old Lee Sports tag. It's an XL. It's an old Elway. This is a cool shirt. And I found some other newer Broncos stuff in here, so somebody may have donated. Here's a Manning. Uh, I found some like this. This isn't super exciting. It's just like when you find Harley shirts. Oh, there you go. You keep looking because there might be more. Here's another one. Super Bowl champs. We're going to grab that as well. Keep looking. Oh, here we, this one's got a tag on it, guys. This is a new tag. Pro player. Another Elway. How about that? And then there's a Lee Sport Mariners. I just don't do well with Mariners, so I'm going to leave it. But the same person probably donated it. Keep an eye out for the Lee Sport tag. Just Mariners, no good. Kept flipping, kept finding, guys. Look at this. An old Broncos. This is the old look, Broncos. Look, it's on an old Nike tag, even. This is cool. And it's a 3XL. So this is a definite grab. Then we got this guy. It's a double X made by the Coliseum. This is an old uh, Arizona Wildcats baseball jersey. Um, I, I, I feel like it's going to take a while, but it's stitched. It's in great shape considering the age. It's made in Korea, so you know that's going to be vintage. And uh, double X, good size. So we're going to grab that. 
and then this one north carolina okay but look at that yeah there's the jump man double x it's not in great shape now you can see right here there's pilling uh it's pretty bad down here as well but i think i'm still gonna grab it just because it is jordan and it's a 3x or 2x i guess so i think we will grab it still this guy's might be a winner i don't know how much they're asking we're gonna check that out that's a no gear smoker i'm gonna check that out that's a good brand okay guys taking a look at what we got look at this new with tags elway cool graphic there 1983 to 1998 Denver Broncos great and it's got all the stuff on the back so double-sided graphics there new with tags that really cool that on a pro player tag then we've got this one another cool Elway shirt on Lee Sports and then this is the Super Bowl champion shirt these this actually looks new as well it's just new without a tag this does not the graphic doesn't appear to be washed at all so this is a fantastic little shirt this one is really cool just because it's on an old nike tag it says 3x i don't i'm gonna have to measure it i'm assuming they shrunk it over its lifetime because that's not a 3x anymore but still cool shirt then we got the arizona jersey the double x arizona wildcats jersey we picked up the michael jordan north carolina it's got some spotting i i don't know i'm just taking a gamble that somebody might want this even on the cheap you know i paid 4.99 for it it might at least be worth 10 bucks even with the issues and then this might be a local flip i don't know this uh, university of montana this pretty old an old russell athletics tag they are the grizz so i'm assuming this is an alumni or something with this one uh, there is some spotting issues down here but i think somebody's going to still want it so i'll run it through the wash i'll see what comes out um, and I might try and flip this on Facebook. Now, let me show you one other thing that we got from Goodwill. So this is the other thing that we got, guys, and I need to research this. Um, this is, here's the name here, Schmelke. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. I'll ask my daughter. She's in German. Um, this uh, It's a pretty high-end pool cue maker. I paid $24.99 for this. Definitely paid up, and I don't know anything about it. They have some that sell for a couple hundred dollars. That's not this one, at least as far as I can tell on a very quick look. I think this is a basic version, but their stuff sells very well, so I got to think I can get at least my $25 bucks back, and I get to learn a little bit about something that I don't know about yet. Uh, it's pretty clean. You know, it's still got the tip on there. So I'm happy with this. I've just got to research it and see how happy I will be at the end of it all. I think we've got to measure this, tell them how long it is. We weigh it, tell them uh, how many ounces, and then I'll see what we can get for it. Also though, today, something else showed up. You guys know I love selling animation cells. I got some cells and I've got some sketches. So I haven't opened them yet. We're going to do it right now. I'll show you what we got that's going up for sale in the eBay store. Okay, guys, you see them as I see them. I'm just taking these out. This, of course, more all dogs go to heaven. I've been selling those pretty well and uh, managed to get my hand on a few more. So here we got Charlie. That one's pretty cool. Charlie does very well. And that cell is in very nice shape. So that's good. Can't remember this guy's name. He's like the little, uh, little henchman, right? The bad guy, I think. Can't remember his name, but that's a cool one. That's the uh, that's the bad guy, and I'm for, I'm forgetting everybody's name now. That one's a, in good shape. She's in nice shape. These are pretty solid cells here. There's a small Charlie. And that's uh, Scratchy. I think that's Scratchy. And this one up here. Oh, there we go. That's a solid one there. A little bit smaller, but good. This one, uh, <laughs> I mean, his head's gone. He's walking off the, <laughs> off the page. If anybody wants this, 
you let me know. If you want uh, the beheaded dog walking off the panel, you let me know. I will send this to you for shipping. And it's first class. It comes in at five and a half ounces. So it's going to be, you know, like four or five bucks tops. So if somebody wants a beheaded scratchy, I've got it for you. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, the, here we go. He's hiding. Under, we saw him in the bed before. Now he's hiding in the bed, I think. I'm not sure. That's kind of a goofy cell also. And there's another. And this one is cool. Sometimes it sticks. Let's see if it sticks. Yeah, it's going to stick a little bit. So I'll work on peeling it off. Uh, that hurts it a little bit. But see what happens here. These are the original cells. They hand drew all of these. I mean, they drew them off of the original sketches. And so every once in a while, I'm able to get the sketch. See, that's the sketch that they drew the cell off of. And so I sell these together as a set. So I got it off. Unfortunately, this one was way more stuck on there than normal. So I probably won't add this sketch to it or I'll just throw it in um, because it ripped so much of the sketch up. What happens is, see back here, this is the paint and they just let it sit for years and years and years. And slowly it sort of attaches itself on there. A lot of times it's just in one or two spots. This one was straight on attached. So the cell is still fine because the paper's on the back and you won't see it. Uh, looks like there's a little bit that I can peel off because you can see a tiny bit. But uh, yeah, it's still a good cell. That not all though, guys. This, <laughs> I'm excited about these. Uh, I was able to track down five original sketches, not cells, but we have the sketches. This is from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Uh, this was a, I believe, a four-part Japanese anime series. And these are relatively rare. And so look at this. You can see multiple lines of artwork there. So these original sketches, really, really cool. You can see the right there. That usually indicates uh, the episode and the scene. So that looks like second a 14 maybe so this may be from the second episode they do them a little bit differently depending on the show that one's pretty cool i like that that one's a little small so that's a bummer that one's not going to be worth obviously as much it's very small but it's still cool so that one's got some shading which is neat that one's got some more, but we're, you know, from the back. So. so that's what I've got today, guys. We picked up some things at Goodwill. I've got some animation sketches, animation cells. I sell all kinds of stuff in my store. And that's why I like it. I don't like falling into an individual niche. I like learning about niches, but uh, I like selling across the board. I think it keeps things more fun. Uh, if you're interested in anything, by all means, as always, shoot me a line. We'll cut you a good deal. I appreciate all of you. We'll see you next time. Bye.